Hi, I'm JJ coming to you from my makeshift office game Lego hammock yoga movie screening room. In this video, I want to show you how Screenweave Live works. Screenweave Live allows you to receive a RTMP video stream from hardware like the AJE Hilo or Matrox Monarch or from a service like Zoom. It then makes these streams available for playback on Cablecast, Carousel, or any other playback system that supports RTMP. It can also simultaneously push the stream to your YouTube or Facebook Live account. All right, that sounds pretty fancy. So what exactly do we use this for? Let's walk through an example together. There are a lot of cities that are switching to virtual meetings using Zoom video conferencing. This is great for being able to hold meetings remotely, but it makes it hard for us to broadcast these meetings. This is where Screenweave Live comes in. Let's walk through setting up for broadcasting a virtual meeting. One of the most difficult parts of video streaming is setting up the network. In the past, you needed public IP addresses and port forwards, and a call to your IT department. Since Screenweave Live is a cloud service, you don't need any special network setup. You simply need an internet connection fast enough for the stream. Let's start by setting things up in Cablecast. We will create a new network stream and use the URL that we received from our Screenweave Live welcome email. <laughs> this will tell Cablecast where to pull the stream from. Alternately, we could use Carousel to play the stream by creating a new live bulletin, or again, we could use any other playback server that supports RTMP. Next, we need to set up Zoom. We will log into our Zoom account and turn on Allow Live Streaming Meetings. Select Custom Live Streaming Service, and here we will paste in the setup instructions that we received in our welcome email. This will simply show the host how to configure the live stream when they start the meeting. Okay, once the meeting starts, the host will enable streaming. Zoom will direct us to use the streaming instructions that we just configured. This part's a little repetitive, but it's just how Zoom works. Once we put the settings in for this meeting, it's automatically streamed to Screenweave Live. Now, Back in Cablecast, we can use the force matrix to take this meeting on to air. The cool thing about RTMP streams is that Cablecast will go get the stream from Screenweave. Again, no fancy network setup needed. Lastly, Screenweave Live will automatically start sending the stream to our configured YouTube and Facebook Live accounts. We will need to log into those services and start the broadcast similarly to how we took the, the stream to air uh, in Cablecast. Okay, this was a quick overview, um, and we do have an amazingly detailed knowledge base article showing exactly how to set everything up, which I encourage you to go check out. We are really excited about how combining solutions like Zoom and Cablecast can unlock collaboration and communication in our communities. For more information uh, about Screenweave Live, check out our website or get a hold of uh, one of our sales team. Thanks.